Here is a simple demonstration of how to use OpenLink data spaces and the FOV SSL protocol to deal with a painful issue of distributed identity that's controlled by you. So what I'm going to do is sign into my um, ODS instance. This is my personal data space. Now that I'm logged in, what I want to do is quickly edit my profile. And the main task here is I simply want to generate an X509 certificate, export it to my browser, and then write the public key component of that certificate to my fourth profile. So all I have to do is simply locate the Generate button here. Um, click on the Generate button. And what's happening now is that my certificate has been generated and exported to my browser. So I'm quickly refreshing my screen so that you can actually see the certificate within this user interface. Now that I have the certificate, I want to enable fourth SSL-based logins. So when I come to my data space, I shouldn't have to put in my username or password. Um, when I click the Save button here, it is going to write the certificate to my fourth profile. Now, now that I've done that, I can simply log out. But what gets really interesting is not verifying what I've done using my own ODS instance. What I should be able to do is go to other places on the web where the fourth SSL protocol is also in use. So here's my first point of call. It's a service called fourth.me basic login. And as you can see, I'm challenged, basically asked to present, uh, present identification. So what I'm going to do is select the certificate I just generated. And that's it, I'm in. I don't have to type in my username or password. Likewise, if I go to another service called the Cheese Club service, and again, this is for SSL based. Once again, I'm challenged, you know, show my membership card when getting in, which is really just my web ID, which is really just a combination of my personal URI and an X509 certificate. And so right now the service is checking my credentials. Basically, it goes into the, into the uh, certificate it obtains my URI and determines, okay, I can go to my, my own particular home page. And there are a list of my favorite cheeses. That's the end of the fourth SSL demo. So once again, to recap, what I did here was generate a certificate that includes my personal URI, a web ID, and exported that to my browser, and then simply visited other sites on the web without writing a single line of code, without having to re-authenticate each time I went to a new site. Thank you.